all right guys welcome back to just peeling barbecue uh, this is going to be my first impressions of my new grill um, I'd like to tell you what I think about it and why I chose it um, the grill sitting behind me here it's a uh, Grilla Grill Silverback pellet grill um, and I'll tell you why uh, I chose this grill first of all I chose it because number one it met my price point um, this thing is $6.99 and that includes uh, ship straight to your door um, it met my criteria as far as a warranty goes it's got a four-year warranty um, the construction of it um, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in a minute but I thought that it was going to meet my expectations as far as uh, build quality goes I thought it was going to give me the biggest bang for my buck um, it is a pellet grill um, and what that does is it allows me to do long cooks long smokes um, big pieces of meat but it also allows me to come home <clears throat> if we're in a hurry and I want to throw on uh, some chicken wings or some burgers and hot dogs or something like that I can do that also um, so it allows me to do a lot of different things um, so that was another thing uh, also in doing my research um, I found that the customer service seemed to be uh, top-notch and throughout this purchase process once I decided to make the purchase I have found that to be the case um, after I made the purchase actually once before and then three times after I have made the purchase I have contacted Grilla Grills and all four times uh, within except for once one was about 20 minutes the rest of them were within 10 minutes um, Mark Graham who is one of the engineers of the company um, has contacted me back personally with answers to my questions and always said if you have any more questions do not hesitate to call um, and that is huge to me um, and so throughout the whole purchase process the shipping process um, I think yesterday morning uh, I was notified that uh, my grill had reached uh, the terminal in Savannah Georgia uh, which is only about 50 or 60 miles from from me and um, so I, I looked up that um, that website and there was a place for live chat so I hit that asked the the person there uh, just wanted an ETA, ETA on delivery um, and they said it would be that was the day before yesterday it would be within 24 to 48 hours yesterday morning like 24 and a half hours later I get a call saying we're ready to deliver your grill and so that was it um, I mean it was so far it has truly been one of the more enjoyable purchases and experiences that I've ever had um, and I want to say this <clears throat> throughout this whole process and the video about um, choosing what grill that you want and all that and then this um, video on my first impressions of this grill I purchased this grill with my own money um, nobody has has paid me to say any of this stuff um, that I'm going to say in this video it's going to be the honest truth if you're watching my videos whether it's food whether it's a grill whatever kind of product that it is if I think it's crap I'm going to tell you it's crap if I if I think it's good then I'm going to tell you it's good um, I'm going to shoot you straight uh, because I don't want to tell you to go purchase something that's crap and then you go spend your hard on earn money on it um, so this is an honest opinion of of this grill and this experience um, so I just want to kind of throw that out there I'm fixing to kind of um, pick up the camera it may be a little shaky but I want to kind of show you the grill a little bit and um, just give you my observations of uh, my first impressions and I have to tell you 
it has exceeded my expectations so far. Now the only thing that I've done is put it together um, and I did the initial burn in last night where you take it up to 500 degrees for about an hour and you just burn off all of the manufacturing oils and that kind of thing so that it doesn't impart those flavors into your food on your first cook. So I did that last night. Um, so I don't know how it's going to cook. Uh, I'm fixing to find out as soon as I get through this video, I promise you that. But um, I'm speaking on right now on the customer service that I've gotten so far, which is outstanding. Uh, the shipping process, which was painless. Um, the construction of the unit, which to me was huge. And I'm fixing to talk about that and show you that kind of thing. Um, so let's talk about that and then we'll go from there. All right, first things first, the packaging. This is the packaging that it came in and I'm gonna post some pictures of all of this uh, to go along with this video. Um, but I just wanna show you the thickness of the cardboard packaging and that kind of thing was amazing. The thickness of the uh, styrofoam that was that was wrapped around the barrel. This was wrapped around the barrel. It sat down in it like a nest. Um, all of this stuff was just top notch. Everything was in it like it was supposed to, uh, just like you would expect. The grill itself. Um, day before yesterday, I went and put my hands on another brand of pellet grill and guys I'm telling you I'm so pleasantly surprised at the construction of this thing and you cannot you don't get the sense of of how this thing is manufactured from the website um, and that's one of the things that I think maybe Grilla Grills is missing out on a little bit but this lid for example I picked up the lid on that other manufacturer the other day and I could put my fingers on the edge of this lid and take my hand and put the, my hand on the other one and I could flex the whole lid back and forth. This lid right here, you're not going to flex. I don't care what you do. I mean, it is a heavy, well-constructed stainless steel lid. The hinges, well-constructed hinges, I mean, heavy duty nice hinges those other hinges were a quarter of this size I mean I couldn't believe it um, everything on here when um, Gorilla Grills has a, uh, a, a video and I'll put a link in the description box so you could watch that if you like but they're comparing this silver back to a Traeger 34 and they, they knock on the grill and you know when they do that you think okay is he really knocking on the grill or or what because the Traeger kind of sounded like a tin can compared to the Silverback and I'm telling you this thing is absolutely solid um, the grill grates the grill grates on the Silverback are a quarter inch stainless steel rod these things are heavy these things are well built these things are strong um, and I mean you can say quarter inch stainless steel rod all you want but until you put it in your hand and you feel the weight of it um, you know it's a different experience I truly believe that if if Gorilla Grills were in stores side by side with other manufactured pellet grills some of the other manufacturers would never sell a grill and that's my honest opinion the hopper, um, it's got a big hopper lid, so you can use it as a table. You lift it up, and I've got some hickory pellets in it right now. I put some in it last night. For the cook today, I'm going to use the rest of these hickory pellets, but I'm going to mix it with some cherry pellets. Um, the control, there's the control unit right there. Um, it comes with a probe port, and it comes with the probe. Um, and it fits right through that rubber grommet so you can put your probe into your meat so you don't have to open and close the lid um, letting out your heat so to check the temperature of your meats 
Um, it's all digital. As soon as you start it up, it automatically goes to 350 unless you change it up or down. The temperature is from 180 to 500 degrees in 5 degree increments. Um, but again, very solid, very sturdy, very well built. Um, I couldn't be happier with how it's made. Um, also, you have a storage cabinet down here at the bottom. So you can store your pellets, you can store utensils, all those things. Um, also, I'll tell you something else. Assembly was unbelievable. I, I, I didn't even use any profanity, believe it or not, which is uh, usually doesn't happen that way. Um, I, but I just, again, I just couldn't be happier. Um, now, for those of you that don't really um, have a whole lot of experience with pellet grills, I'm going to kind of show you the ins and outs real quick. I've taken the guts out of the silver back so you can kind of see the internals. There's the top shelf. But this is without the um, fire pot cover or the heat cover and the uh, drip pan. And um, this right here is the fire box, the fire pot. And um, you can see right down there in the bottom down there I burnt some so there's a little bit of ash down there, but there's the fire the uh, Fire rod down there in the bottom Right down there in the bottom down there So anyway um, And then there's the auger right there that spits the pellets out all these holes right here That's where the fan blows air in there to help combust uh, the fire pellets or, or the wood pellets in the fire pot. I'll, I'll turn it on so you can kind of see everything. So all you do is come down here, turn it on, and it blinks letting you know that it, it's in startup mode. And the default temperature for startup is 350. So once that starts, here's your pellets and the auger is down there in the bottom and it starts turning and starts pulling pellets through all the way until it gets down there into the fire pot. Now you can see some of the pellets starting to drop in. You can see some airflow going on. And that fire rod down there will get hot and start combusting uh, those wood pellets. Right now I've got hickory wood pellets in there so as you can see um, I mean we are burning with wood that's no different than having stick wood in there except it's compressed into a pellet so once that combusts and you set your temperature in there whatever temperature you want it'll regulate how fast that auger turns which increases or decreases your fuel and it'll regulate the airflow that goes in there to help regulate the temperature and that's pretty much how it works so in a couple of minutes we'll start having smoke and then before maybe four or five minutes we'll have a flame down there and that's how it works also I wanted to show you while I've got it out, this is the fire pot cover or the heat cover for the fire pot. This thing, I mean, look how heavy this thing is. I wish, I wish, I mean, obviously you can't feel it, but this thing is heavy gauge. It is braced. And when I say braced, it's braced. Heavy duty materials that have been used now as you can see this thing there's the flame right there there she goes well i hope that that has helped some uh with a little preview of the, of the grill that i chose and why i chose it um I have not cooked, cooked on it yet, like I said before, but I'm fixing to. Um, 
and I'm going to tell you how it cooked. Um, I'm going to be doing some um, bone-in chicken breasts, and I've also got some boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I've got some uh, like an orange barbecue sauce that I'm going to do with it. I found on the Grilla Grills website, um, and so I'm going to do that. Uh, I'm also going to do some sweet potatoes, probably some rolls, and maybe some baked beans on it. Um, so um, I'll let you know how that turns out. I hope this helps some. I hope the previous video helped with maybe helping you with your decision on possibly getting another grill. Um, but I will keep you updated on how this grill performs. If there's anything that I would like to change, um, if there's any problems that I have with it, um, I'll let you know all those things. But until then, I'm fixing to piddle with this grill. So I'll see you next time.